What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Hall of Fame Series Sergeant Slaughter. Now I was really looking forward to this Sergeant Slaughter. I missed out on his Legends release. Really didn't like that attire nor did I care for it but this is a much better attire and I'm glad I waited to pick him up. But as you can see he comes with his hat, sunglasses and a whistle. Not necessarily in that order but you know, he, I have him in the packaging. Here we have a nice little picture of Sergeant Slaughter. Same picture. On the back we have a read-up. It says Class of 04. Sergeant Slaughter burst into the WWE scene back in, two in 1980, clad in military fat fatigues. I think that's how it's pronounced. Fatigues, I, I'm guessing. Sunglasses and a whistle. All signs of this former Marine drill instructor was intent on dominating his foes. Immediately, he requested them that the Marine Corps him be played during, when he entered the ring. An adventurous, an advent of entrance music in WWE. For years, the a hated rule breaker, Sergeant or Slaughter's patriotism won over fans when he when he tried or tied when he when he tired of the anti-American rhetoric of the Iron Sheik which sparkled one of the most heated rivalries in WWE history. In 1999, or 1990, excuse me, Sergeant Slaughter returned to WWE as an Iraqi sympathizer, or sympathizer, which enraged the WWE Universe. Despite this, Slaughter defeated the Ultimate Warrior to win the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble 1991. After being defeated by the red, white, and cold, and blue clad Hulk Hogan, in the months of soul searching, he pled I want my country back, and the WWE embraced him again, finishing his epic career as an American hero. Other figures in this line include Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Ultimate Warrior, and Trish Stratus. Uh, I always remember Sergeant Slaughter from those G.I. Joe cartoons. I loved watching them late at night. But anyway, what we're going to do now is take a little break, get him opened up, and we'll go on to the rest of his review, so sit tight everyone. And so here we have Sergeant Slaughter out of packaging, and I'm going to say right off the bat, mine suffers from quality control issues. Now, it has nothing to do with paint. The paint's decent. It has to do with a piece of his articulation. His torso is incredibly loose, and you can see on camera it doesn't take much just to move it around. That is really unfortunate because that is a really important part of articulation and helps with stabilizing the figure. And uh, that just sucks. He came right out of packaging with this really loose torso and I'm not sure if I can fix it. Uh, I might have to get another Sergeant Slaughter. Hopefully uh, Target still has it but I'm going to review this figure for what it's worth and try not to knock it too much for the quality control. He does come with the hat as I said at the beginning of his review. Nice hat, you can see a gold painted I'm, that's a sergeant emblem on it and I can't tell what sergeant it's supposed to be. Give me one second. Nope, there is no detail on it. It's just it's just a gold piece of paint. Yeah. But it does have a nice paint around the rim. It is a softer plastic, so that's pretty nice. Moving that off to the side. He also does come with some glasses. They fit nice and snug on his face. They're not going to go anywhere as long as you don't like mess with the figure too much. As well as his whistle. And you can see that joint is already causing problems. Nice detail on the whistle. It is painted silver and... Looks like it has a little hole for the mouth, but it might just be an optical illusion from the molding. It's on this black string piece of plastic. It's actually plastic, but it it's nice. And now we're on to the figure itself, and I don't know. I kind of wanted this figure, like, to be more than what it is. And unfortunately, this is a real bad joint like no matter what position it's in it doesn't hold and that is really unfortunate because I was really looking forward to this figure uh, but the detail is nice his belt is painted on 
His boots are this really military, like, brownish uh, green. You can see the camouflage on his shirt. It's just painted on. It doesn't look like it's molded. It just looks like it's painted over his skin tone. But really nice paint apps on this figure. I'm not going to deny that. You can see the camouflage is cleanly painted on his arms. There's no bleeding, which... You know, I thought that there would be. There are some minor defects here, but that's paint issue and not as major as this. Ah, really, really sucks. The face does look like Sergeant Slaughter. He does have the bald spot. You can see. Nice. So the only problem I really have with him is this loose ab crunch, because. That's a broken figure in my opinion, because you can't really do anything with this joint hub. It doesn't hold in any position. So, it's kind of, I mean, that's probably the only position it really locks in, but... You know, posing him is going to be a hassle. But going on to his articulation, he does have a standard ball joint. We can look up, down, left and right, as well as some really nice head bobble. You can see he can tilt at the head joint as well as at the neck joint, so that's pretty cool. Arms on a ball joint go out, do a full 360, spin at the bicep, bend at the elbow, spin and bend at the wrist. The ab crunch, it would work if it didn't have this problem, but it's there. Waist swivel, legs go forward, back and out. He spins at the thigh, double jointed at the knee, spins at the boot, and has a really nice ankle, hinge ankle as well as some slight rocker. So overall, nice figure, uh, just sucks mine has this really horrid quality control issue on, oh, excuse me, on it. What I'm going to do now is take a little moment, get him, try to get him posed and move on to my final thoughts, then we'll wrap up his review, so sit tight everyone. So here we have Slaughter pose for my final thoughts, and overall, it's a really nice figure. Mine just suffers from that piece of quality control. It took a while to get him, to actually get him standing where the ab wasn't rocking back and forth. Unfortunately, mine is crappy, so that's the best way to put it. It's just quality control. I'm hopefully the other Slaughters don't have this issue. I picked. My slaughter up at Target, that's the only place to get the Hall of Fame series. Uh, for what you're paying for them, which is $21 at this point, you'd expect better quality of these figures. And it just sucks when you get something like this, a really nice figure that you're looking forward to, and then something's wrong with it that probably can't be fixed. If you're looking for a Sergeant Slaughter, like I said, the only place to get them is at Target. And you are going to be paying roughly $21 and up for him. Unfortunately, that's just the way the game is with prices going up on these guys. If you can find him and you're a Sergeant Slaughter fan, I say pick him up. He is well worth it. And this is King Dragons 5000 saying, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. <laughs>